Well, hello everybody, Smithy here, and welcome back to a new Jurassic Craft episode. Well, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and we've had some changes. And look at the size of that. It's changed since last time. Ooh. <laughs> look at the size of this. It's got massive. And look at this. This is standard Raptor. This is standard Raptor Blue. And this is the new Super Duper oversized uh, <laughs> Indoraptor that we're using thanks to uh, Fist Toodles for updating the original skin and everything and he's made the uh, dinosaur go bigger <laughs> look at that it's massive uh, yeah so when you see me walking up to it I can walk under its chin so it's a bit big so it's 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 roughly the size that I wanted it and it's really really cool. Oh off you go. Let's go and set time set day and we're gonna tell you what we're gonna build today in this world. Well, you can see something else. Oh that's probably capital letters and a space. Yeah, you can see that something's moved. The building. Look at all this look at all this sand. It's moved. We've moved the building back. Yes, that's because we're gonna do some stuff with it. So let's head over here. The building was over here, and I need to have a lot more space guys for building. Uh this was the the uh, I need to upload this for you guys so you can actually have it. This was the uh the massive museum we've done for our 1.10 world which i just transported in because I thought it was fun. This roof is way too big, but we'll just put an Indoraptor on there. Hello, you can stay up there. Happy holidays. There we go. Uh, so, oh, right. So I've moved the Lockwood Manor. Uh, what I call it is going to be, it's going to be the laboratory, well, part of the laboratory, and obviously where the auction takes place. So I've got a bit of things to do with this. And uh, uh, look what's around here. This is going to be the build for this episode over here. We've started it. So what I've done, you might have noticed that this has got bigger since last time. I've also, in the meantime, had to uh, just make this a way bit bigger. Because originally, uh, it went down to about... Oh, well, the cage is there anyway. But that's that's the old cage as such. Oh, there it goes. It went to there. That's how big it was. And look at that. It's, it's raining. Raining down on us. But uh, I haven't done the new larger size Indoraptor cage yet. Uh, you can see the size of the Indoraptor here with blue. It's well cool, isn't it? Ah, and it's just got out of the cage. There we go. Oh, you really want to go out in that rain? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, so we'll get rid of that as we will before. And then we'll go and show you the other stuff. It's not raining. There we go. Right, so guys, uh, I've been studying all the all the, all the trailers, and we're going to build the glass roof. And uh, the glass roof that you see in the trailers actually belongs to the museum, where Owen is chased round with the other crew. So this is the museum, and there's some interesting things. I'm going to do a definitely going to do a video on Lockwood Manor because. By studying all the video clips, I've come across a few interesting things, which I'm not going to discuss in this video. So, that doesn't have windows at the end. I was just trying to gauge the size of the roof, which is dead high. Uh, which the Raptor then obviously jumps onto the roof from the main building. Because in another clip, you can see the, the Indoraptor on top of the main building, which I need to build. So, how are we going to build this? So, what I did for now is and i've learned quite a lot more in that uh another thing that happens is when when all the crowds and this has to be moved when all the crowds are sitting at their chairs and the indoraptor and the ankylosaurus comes through here it's on rails at the back and then in another clip you see owen standing on top of the rails so the beasts are all locked in cages and then they get shown in for the auction uh, and they've got green walls either side. So I've got to build the inside of that, but not this episode. That means now, since I built this this morning, uh, I'm going to have to play around with how this is going to work. So what we're going to have to do is this will not be uh, this will not be open anymore at the back. What I did originally is I looked at the set photos to create this. So uh, another thing that happens is I'm going to have to move 
this viewing area over to this side so the actual where they do the auction is going to be over this side because these are all here by the way in the film because one of the scenes you see down a long corridor into the ark and all the dinosaurs come charging out from the pens so somehow all the dinosaurs come out of the pens so that's really interesting as well so uh, this is going to be a much bigger build over the next few probably few weeks or so on top of my Jurassic World bit so I'm going to go draft world so anyway guys what I'm going to do is this is nearly high enough so what I'm going to just about to do is also there's hardly any windows in it when you actually see so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to build the walls up which aren't red brick so I've got to change that because they're all it's all paneling inside uh, I might end up making the I might end up making this slightly wider but uh, at the end of the hall the door obviously goes through to somewhere else as well so it's quite interesting uh, although it might be the fact that when Owen and that come into the hall that end might be where they're walking down to so I've got to decide that so guys what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the walls on this and then I, what I want to do is just build a framework up to the roof because because I want to get the roof is right. The roof is actually smaller than the building. Because when you look at the shot below, and I said it has a, the shot the has uh, a second floory, second story stairs, and then it has a roof. But the roof has got a particular design on it, which is quite interesting. I.e., I, the building has is a square building, and the roof is plonked on top. But the roof doesn't go all the way to the sides, as you will see when we get to the end of it. So I'll be back once I do a bit more building to show you what we're going to do next. Well, welcome back, guys. <laughs> uh, this has been quite difficult. Yes, let's go and have a look at this. We have got this super build here. The uh, got to watch out. Can't wait to get the uh, indirect on here. We have created the building or the uh, museum with the roof, but I haven't finished it yet, guys, because I've had quite a bit of problem. But I thought I'd show you. Now the museum hasn't got nothing in it, but one thing I have noticed, I've looked at all the clips and trailers and uh, I've tried to work out how to do this and it's white glass. Now this is what it will look like inside and there's a scene in one of the trailers where Owen picks up the gun off the floor and you can see behind him, behind him the roof so I've got a pretty good idea how it looks like but uh, I think I might put just some platforms in here. We're obviously in 1.8 Minecraft and not 1, 1.10, so we haven't got the latest uh, Jurassic Craft dinos. Although I could actually use fossil and archaeology mod to put the dinos in. Now that could be a good idea. We might think about that before this build. So here is the roof. Now the difficulty with the roof is that it arches over the center way and then has the sort of funny ends bit where Owen and the girl, can't remember her name at the moment, hang off when the raptor, uh, Indoraptor's running along the roof. So I had quite great difficulty on this because when you look at the inside, this is the design. I've literally got it almost perfect. So the this is what the museum looks like from the inside. Now, on the movie, uh, when you see the clip of the Indoraptor going across the top, it doesn't show the building it's related it literally shows a clear drop off here and that cannot be the case because the size of the roof on the inside so there's a bit difference in the sets e.g this is the inside and we've got this where well, you'll see the step ceiling which we've done here and then the glass is set back so it's quite difficult to get the glass set back in context so uh, I've used white glass as well and uh, if I do time set night you'll see I've had to light it up like the like the movie uh, that's the issue because the idea is it, it's all lit up like it is in the dark but what I've worked out is even though the lighting on the movie is all the way around the edge and I've just sort of hid it in the in this call this ceiling well here that you go around uh, we'll see I might end up having to put uh, some lighting say hey that would be good wouldn't it put it here I suppose I might just have to do that at the critical points and also uh, since the original uh, I've had to elongate the building to get the absolute glass almost looking like the movie 
So what I'm going to do, guys? Ooh, what's over? Let's see. Oh yeah. Let's see. Village, because I'm on a flat world and it's building villages. Looks quite good in the dark, doesn't it? So does that over there? Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish building the ceiling, the roof. And you remember the Indoraptor somehow gets onto here with Owen. Now there is a ladder section because the, it does clearly end here and then the rest of the house is over here and that's what I'm going to build next, not in these, in, before the film's out, I'm going to build this bit over here. So the Indoraptor comes along here. So I think it would be good to have the section lit up to show you what it looks like in dark. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to do going to finish off the roof which is quite easy now because all I do is if I go all the way along here and finish this half of the roof I can then use MC edit to double it over as such so I'll be back once I do that and show you what I've done with it well guys as you can see we're done <laughs> Indoraptor on the roof of the museum <laughs> it's uh, just been put there you can see there's quite big as you can see and i've got the museum done so moon is rising and we needed some really heavy thunderstorms that'll be really cool wouldn't it and the uh, rain beating down so do you want to see it guys so here is Indoraptor. it's start running around in a minute uh, this is the darker one i feel this is a darker one Yes, it is. Look, way off it goes. It's doing its thing. Oh yes, baby, <laughs> doing its thing, and uh, with the moon behind it. Luckily, it's facing the right way. It's just a uh, pure luck that we got the moon rising behind it, like in the movie. Uh, so I finished the roof. It's used the white blocks now. In fact, let me just see if I can get the other Indoraptor. No, it's the same one, isn't it? The darker one of the two, but they look pretty damn cool on here. It's it's roughly about the right size. If I go back and just show you blue, how small blue is, because blue obviously attacks the Indoraptor at some point. So if we just put blue on here, you can see the size comparison. There you go. Oh, blue standing on the side. Let's knock knock blue off. Put it next to it, and you can see that blue is uh, quite a lot smaller as in the movie. So very happy. Thanks very much uh, Fist Toodles for doing this. Fantastic. And uh, I know you guys at Jurassic Craft have been watching. Uh, uh, sneaky, I know. Uh, let's hope you do a proper Indoraptor because uh, this is based on obviously the uh, your super duper Achillobator. And if you're watching guys, we would really love to have these uh, old 1.8 models in the 1.10 version. I'm sure you're going to bring them in because I've been watching you on the forum, but hey. So here is the famous uh, museum roof. And I'm going to show, oh, look, there's stuff inside. You can see inside in a minute. I'm going to show you what it is. Uh, Indoraptor's on the top. There's nothing else to do with the building yet uh, because my next task will be to do the auction house. Someone asked me in the video, this is the auction area here and I will do the auction area properly. We'll put some seats down and stuff. I need to bring in a couple of mods, guys, uh, to do that. I'm going to bring in the uh, Mr. Crayfish's super duper furniture mod because uh, uh, he's got... Oh, and DecoCraft. We could use DecoCraft as well, couldn't we? And really kit this, really kit this stuff out. So uh, this is probably not the final resting space of this building uh, because there's lots of things hand. So let's go and have a look. Uh, this has got me thinking, I might, might, I think I'm going to do a video of all the clips from the museum. E.g. when Claire and whatever his name is uh, comes in. Oh my god, I need some light in here, boys and girls. Uh, this is the famous, this is the one, I'll put this here. Ha ha! That is the head! Yes, I haven't, I haven't got, uh, it's a bit of a, a nuisance. Let's, let's bring it back into daylight for you, uh, because... Uh, I just did it at night. Let's bring it to daylight. I've got to light this up. But let me show you something. So Claire and I don't know his name in the Chinese video come into the hall like this and you can see them in just standing here. And you might notice that when they are standing here, there are two poles here and here. And I'll explain what they are in a minute. Uh, they are for the balcony which I've put all the way around and the staircase where the Indoraptor attacks uh, as well in later in another clip. So I'm going to join all those clips together I think and do a bit of a... I'm going to start doing like collection of video clips together. I think that'd be really cool and talk about it. So there will clear it and I need to get his name. I need to write all this down uh, before I do the come in and you can see the dino, uh, the head and then you can see, looks like an Ankylosaurus 
here may not be maybe the one that's uh maybe actually the reused model from the video but on the island but there we go and then we've got two-legged uh, one here and a four-legged one over there and now it's starting to rain what's it look like out there with the rain how are my indoraptors in the rain huh huh oh you've jumped down time to set night let's go for the whole thing now this will be really cool uh once the moon comes up where is the moon Ooh. can you see that's a good point actually I thought you could, you cannot see the moon when it's raining. Oh my lord. I can just see it in the background, but there you go. Anyway, <laughs> let's just bring, let's all bring that back now. And then let's stop it raining as well, to be brutally honest, because we don't want it raining. There we go. Let's go back and show you inside. Let's get that sun out. So in here we have uh, Super Duper. Here you go. Uh, you could, what? What? I could be really clever here. And what I might do is, if I was to do like a movie or something, I could have the 1.8 version for the Indoraptor on the roof. And then for this particular scene, I could bring it back up to Minecraft 1. Point, uh, Jurassic Craft 1.10. Because it's got the dinos in. So there we go. I could actually have this world set in 1.10 and 1.8 as well. So that would be really cool. Because we've got... We could just put some dinos on. We haven't got the head which we've got here, of course. But we could actually put some dinos on the rack. That might be pretty cool, like we did in the previous video. So, then you've got window, that side and that side, and then there's a door the other end. And there's another scene where uh, Owen is loading up his gun, and he's standing here. That's how we got the clip with the roof. And then he turns round. There's another clip with Claire and... Uh, Owen and there's an army guy on the floor here and gets dragged behind the pillar but I've noticed that pillar is not that big I don't think you could hide an Indoraptor behind it so maybe it's blue we're not sure really to know and then there's the staircase over here uh, where the Indoraptor jumps up to attack in another clip as well so that's how I've brought this to life really by about five or six different clips we've got from the trailers so it may be good to do a quick clip video to do that so how what do you think of my roof the roof is there it does look like the clip it does it does i'm quite happy uh and it's quite impressive now we don't know what's through here but where claire comes from another thing is the the that when you see uh the interrupter attacking you can see lampshades you can see a window here and also another clip where the the walkway at this end goes through to another room at the top uh, I've seen that as well. So there you go. And these light panels around the side, these are those, they've got some like dinosaur setups where if you've seen the picture, there's one's got a Dilophosaurus model in it uh, or a mannequin or whatever it is and uh, Dilophosaurus and raptors in the window. So it's probably a bit bigger than this probably. But I've just used the lighting for now to do that because that was, oh yeah, you notice I put the bricks on the outside, of course. So I did double skin like that so you can't see it oh oh my god they're all jumping off indoraptors jumps off there just shows how agile they are and indoraptor and blue are quite happy here aren't you well cool we want an indoraptor in jurassic craft look at that we love it oh that's the last the yellow one that is so i wonder if that is the orange one over here no that's the yellow one as well there we go I know you all want to see it, and thank you for all the kind words and comments on the last video. We've got 4,500 views on that, heading towards 5,000, so that's really cool. So I hope you all like this. Uh, so there you go. That is the museum as such. Uh, very happy with the interactors running around. Oh, so thank you very much for uh, Fisk Toodles. Toodle Fisk? T -t -t Fisk? Fisk? Anyway, Fisk. Thank you very much, Guy. You have made this video possible. Without your model, or sorry, without your reskin and playing around with the models, I could not have done this video. So thank you very much indeed. Uh, and then we've got to do, what we've got to do next is the Indoraptor cage here. But one thing is about the cage, guys, it's on rails. So uh, rails are quite easy to do, to be honest, because you just, uh, you just do, you just put in, uh, I know what you put in, the anvil, 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 anvil. Let's just do that, put that back there, get rid of that a minute. Because we can put the anvils in as the rails. I could do properly, Let's see if it looks like. Yes. Now, 
when the rails and I've just put that in there guys so it should it's in the wrong place it should be there and there uh, there's another scene where you see Owen and Claire and on the on the ground the rails are there so you can see the rails so the the dinos are brought into the auction house through the door on rails then there's a big corridor where we see the indo rats are running through from left to right now that means to me that this museum is not in the correct location so i'm looking at that oh you didn't die did you no so there's this is going to expand I, I think I'm going to move the museum out there and we're going to start doing the big house because I want to do that very pointy roof where the interrupter goes on as well. So there you go. Big plans. Uh, sorry about the delay in the video. I'm very busy life outside playing this game. But there we go. Thanks very much indeed for watching. And uh, love all your comments. And I do answer them all. It might be on, not on the same day, guys, but uh, I do answer them all. So there you go. Thanks very much. Bye-bye for now. See you next time for another Minecraft Dinosaur episode. And please like and please sub if you're the first person to come here. Remember, if you've only just subbed, I've got over 270 Minecraft Dinosaur videos. Haha. -ha. Go and see my Jurassic World. Bye-bye.